All right, take a look at this. This looks almost like a postcard this morning. Beautiful shot. We're going to say hello to our friends in Santa Monica. Let's take a look at our current conditions. 52 degrees. We have these lighter winds coming in from the east northeast about six miles per hour. It's going to be another warm day. So let me help you plan out your afternoon. By the time we head into the lunch hour, you may want to sit outdoors, but find some shade uh, 81 degrees. And then by the time we head into the dinner hour, still rather comfortable upper 60s, but the clouds will start to increase as we are tracking this next storm system to the north of us. You can see how the clouds are really starting to push in, but right now we're dealing with clear skies. But again, by the time we head into the rest of the day, we're going to start to see the clouds filling in and then this low pressure system starts to work its way down the coast. Very different stories. We head into tomorrow and Friday. The end of the week will be much different than what we started the week off with, and that's because the cool down officially begins as that sea breeze returns today. So tomorrow night and into Friday, that is when we start to see some rain moving in and then that rain will linger with us for most of Friday. Rain amounts anywhere from a quarter inch to three quarters of an inch with snow levels starting off at 5,000 feet. By the time we head into the weekend, it could get as low as 3,500 feet. Here's a look at satellite radar tracker. So again, clouds filling in. It'll be mostly cloudy once we head into tomorrow with temperatures tumbling down by about 10 degrees compared to today. Today, we're going to stay above average. Tomorrow's when we get a little closer to normal. And then by the time we head into the 9, 930 hour tomorrow, this is when all that rain starts to arrive. And then even by the midnight hour overnight. So there is a chance. Remember, it's been so warm here. We have that cold air coming in from the Pacific Northwest that creates unstable conditions, so we could see isolated thunderstorms and showers. There is potential for a second system on Saturday to bring more of the scattered showers. That's something that we're going to continue to watch, but here's a look at our seven day forecast. So today will be warm 70s and 80s. Then we start to get down to the 60s by tomorrow. Then the rain starts to move in overnight Thursday into Friday, and then we could see some scattered showers Saturday morning. By Sunday, we're still left with all this cold air, but we'll be warming up by the start of next week. Back to you.